What is that? Why is it in the mouth of a fish? The tongue-eating loose is the only one case known in biology when a parasite replaces the organ of the host's body with itself. Oh yes, evolution is rather bizarre now and then. This is the way it works. A young loose gets through the gills of a fish and waits when there are two or more of them. Then one of them becomes mature and becomes female. It sticks to the tongue of the fish, sucks blood out of it till the tongue falls off, and next, the loose replaces it, functioning as a tongue prosthesis until the end of the host's life. Now, the loose devourer can eat what the fish preys on. Afterwards, a female mates with a male and raises its fry which will be looking for a new victim pretty soon. A snake-like body, sucking mouth of a tooth mouth and more than 100 teeth make the encounter with lampreys unforgettable for humans. This appalling vampire fish is a real dinosaur, as it has existed on Earth for almost 400 million years. In reality, lampreys are not exactly fish, but primitive cyclosami, which occur in freshwater and seawaters. They are nothing but predators with the length of more than a meter and the weight up to 3 kilos. During a year, one fish of this species can consume up to 20 kilos of fish, whereas their life expectancy is 5 to 7 years. Actually, lampreys are parasites. They cling to you and through the scale penetrate into the body of their prey, inject digestive juices and antioagulants which block blood clotting. Therefore, fish which are still alive start to get digested and lampreys only need to suck into this cocktail of guts. Looks like a kind of ocean hiking. What a weird couple. An enormous shark and the common remora. This is a very interesting example of mutually beneficial friendship. Let's take a closer look at what exactly it is based on so securely. See, the back of a remora boasts fins which evolve into something like a ribbed suction cup with a fleshy lip and touch receptors. It allows the fish to instantly attach to sharks, whales, rays, or even a random diver who is swimming by over it. Such coexistence of the shark and remora is advantageous for both. The fish lives on bits of the shark's prey and parasites on its skin, and the shark in return defends the remora from predators and works like an ocean cab. Have you heard of an ocean dentist? This small 10 centimeter fish, whose real name is Blue Streak Cleaner Rase, seems to have entered into a contract with large fishes, such as sharks, surgeon fishes, and muranas, on dental care. Around coral reefs, the Blue Streak Cleaner Rase meets its regular clients who recognize it by the glossy light blue stripe on both sides. Now they are opening their mouths to enable experts to have a look at the mouth and gill, and the small dentist courageously swims right into the opening. There, it finds provisions such as leftovers of food, dead skin, parasites, or algae that accumulate on teeth. By the way, divers are also close acquaintances of this incredible fish, and they record underwater videos which quickly become viral on social media. Can this floating power bank do harm to a human? Yes, it can. Lethal cases are extremely rare, but one ought to know that powerful electric discharge of an electric eel may cause chaotic contractions of heart ventricles and completely stop heart beating. Afterwards, a person can drown even in the shallow water, and the electric current of a mature eel is lethal for young chameans and anacondas. How do they do it? Special electrolytes accumulate energy like batteries, and in the case of danger or attack on the prey, they are discharged simultaneously, producing full voltage up to 800 volts. It is four times as big as the electric potential in a socket. Moreover, with the help of low-voltage electrical signals, an eel makes a 3D picture of the surroundings, since water in Amazonian rivers is turbid. If you ever tried breaking a coconut, then you know how difficult it is. But not for the gigantic coconut crab. Its weapon is two powerful big claws with which this palm thief can cut and tear to pieces a green coconut. The span of legs is up to 1 meter and the weight is up to 4 kilos. These strong creatures can lift items with the weight up to 30 kilos. They live on a gourmet diet. Coconuts, fruit, various seeds, rats, and seabirds. And their life expectancy is up to 60 years. An adult crab spends all of its life on the land, as it actually drowns in the water having lungs instead of gills. Coconut crabs need our protection and are on the list of endangered species due to being excessively fished by people and because of the threatening climate changes. Can plants feel pain? There is still no unanimous opinion in the scientific community. Yes, plants don't feature the nervous system and brain, but researchers came to a conclusion that plants are able to make metallic ultrasounds, produce certain protective substances, and move their body when feeling danger. So interesting and amazing is Mimosa pudica. You can see how it folds leaves and moves twigs down when being touched. 
This is just incredible, and that lilac dandelion-like flower makes it look even more petite and touching. Though it is far from being an emotion, but it is only a reaction to an irritant. It forces us to consider whether plants can also have so-called feelings. 